In this protocol, two antibodies from the same host can be used together in the immunofluorescence assay to study host cell and pathogen interactions. Since there are only few commercial antibodies available to recognize specific cell structures and proteins in parasites, this protocol can be very useful. This is an easy to perform double label immunofluorescence protocol that uses polyclonal and monoclonal antibodies raising the same species. Many researchers may be unaware that this is possible. This approach helps when the source of antibodies is limited. It can be used to detect the pathogens and the host cell proteins in infected host cells and can also be applied to free-living organisms. This is a simple protocol, require one blocking steps between the first and second pair of antibodies. The procedure will be demonstrated by Dr. Camila Gachet de Castro and PhD student Laís Trajano Silva from my laboratory. Three days after infecting LLC MK2 cells with Trypanosoma cruzi, collect the supernatant from the infected cells in a 15 milliliter cell culture conical tube. Centrifuge the sample to lower cell debris, then place the tube at room temperature to allow the trypomastigotes to swim to the supernatant. After 10 minutes, collect the supernatant in a new conical tube. Then, centrifuge the sample and discard the supernatant before resuspending the pellet containing the parasites in complete RPMI medium.